San Bernardino's mayor wasn't in the mood to talk to reporters tonight with more and more people demanding his resignation. A tense meeting tonight at San Bernardino City Hall. Residents demanding that Mayor John Valdivia step down immediately. Comes in the wake of sexual harassment accusations from former city workers and tonight their attorney says more allegations are yet to come. Mm. Okay, can I ask Nicole Comstock live in San Bernardino right now with that background. Nicole. Yeah, Susie and Jeff, tonight people who live here in San Bernardino marched over to that city council meeting and demanded that the mayor resign. Now, we also spoke with the attorney representing those two women who are accusing the mayor of longstanding sexual harassment. He says there are more victims and they're also coming forward soon. Do the city a favor and please resign, John. San Bernardino Mayor John Valdivia in the hot seat as multiple community members came to a city council meeting demanding that he resign. Do the right thing with the mayor and resign. To step down. The mayor is currently under investigation after two former employees quit and obtained an attorney, saying he sexually harassed them and threatened their employment. The city attorney, other high ranking city officials have been putting him on notice of his, his behavior for at least two years. And it didn't do any good, the woman's attorney says. He shared those written notices with us. Do you think he will resign? No, I don't. Why not? Uh, because he's a narcissist and misogynistic, and he's proven it. Treasurer Ortiz marched to the meeting with a group of San Bernardino residents who were all outraged by the mayor's alleged behavior. And she says she's seen it firsthand as a former city employee. I've watched employees harassed, retaliated against. Ortiz says city employees were pressured to treat the council members like gods and that Mayor Valdivia called himself the king of San Bernardino. When TV crews approached him for comment tonight, he walked away. We anticipate that there could be litigation. The city attorney says he advised the council not to speak about the allegations, although he himself took the city to court after the mayor substantially cut his pay and the city clerk's pay. The court ruled in their favor. Now these people are hoping the same for these two women. We support Mary and Karen. We support Mary and Karen. We Although the mayor did not speak with us tonight, in a previous written statement, he said these accusations were false and politically motivated. Reporting live in San Bernardino, Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.